Good evening, everyone. How are we? And welcome back to another Quiz Night Live. I am Jamie. If you haven't been here before, hello, welcome. Um, come on in, pop the pin in and um, get your name in. Hopefully we'll have quite a few players tonight by the looks of it. Lots of people already coming through. We've got Amy. Hello, welcome back. Astra Dane. Hello, Vib. Welcome back as well. Gemma Lama, Jones family. Uh, Laura, you're here as well. That's good. Nenking. Hello, welcome back. Hello guys, chat is open as well. Apple Dawn is here this week. Hello Dawn. Um, Dr. Coffee is back. A dragon, a duck. Lots of people coming through, it's exciting. Um, people are starting to get in now. Um, if you are new, the way it does work, and if you are a bit confused, you need to have the live stream that we've got here on one screen and then the app Kahoot on another screen so that you can answer questions. Um, so there are four different types of questions which I'll go through now so you can kind of work out how they are, how they all work. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So we've got um, four types. So the first type is true or false. So questions come up, um, you simply answer true or false on that question. If it's right, you get it points. The second type of question is a puzzle question. In these, there are four types of questions. Uh, you slide your answers in from left to right depending on what they want you to do. Next one is an open-ended question. This question is a question that basically is, could be anything. You need to type an answer in, maybe a number, something like that. And the final type of question is a regular standard quiz question. You get multiple options between one and four on there. Um, with those, sometimes they are worth double points. Sometimes there are multiple answers as well. So they are big points and can potentially be up to 8,000 um, points. Um, hello, Groom Quiz Bro, Lordant. Oh, lots of people here. Lord and Lamar, Cookie, T-Bone, welcome back. Victor the Corner, Hell Dog, I Am Smartitious, Gemma Lama, Dragon. So many people in tonight. This is quite exciting. Um, but that is how it all works. Um, the chat is open, so if you want to chat with each other, chat below. Um, I can see you've got Ellen Mays in there already, Amy and Arabella, as well as... Yeah, there's a few of you already talking about, which is good news. Um, it's quite a few of you. I'm going to give everyone else like a minute or two just to get in. I will go through a couple of the details now. So we're going to have 10 rounds tonight. First round is going to be Disney and Pixar. Um, hopefully that will help some of you. We've got a movie round at some point tonight. We've got an anagram round, um, a round about friends. So there's a good selection of stuff tonight. Um, but yeah, um, if you haven't already, we have got a Facebook page. Uh, the details are below. And if you haven't, go and follow the page because I have been putting hints on there a week. So... Um, there's been a few hints, so if you have been on the Facebook page, you may have some knowledge on tonight with some kind of idea. Um, a big thank you actually to Dr. Coffee. She always comments on my posts, um, says nice things, uh, replies to them. So thank you, Dr. Coffee. Hopefully a few more of you can do that this week and uh, we can get more people involved with the Facebook page. Um, if you are new completely, if you go and press the subscribe button as well on the channel, that really helps me out. And also there are bells now um, and I've got the next two quizzes coming up um, on there. So you can press the reminder button. It will remind you about an hour beforehand. So if you're if you're new or if you've forgotten or it will just remind you and you can jump on and play. Hello, TP. Um, what else do we have? Um, let's have a look at the list, shall we? Scroll down here. Sharon, Ben, Beardface, Stephen, Cookie. There's quite a few of you. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to give everyone another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Um, and then we'll go live on round one, which is Disney and Pixar tonight. Um, what is Helen and Amy talking about? You're missing out. It's great. I'm loving the sound of the rounds. Good, good. Oh, you haven't watched Friends. That's not good. Um, anyway, let's just um, go into it and um, start round one, shall we? So let's bring it up, bring it up, and away we go. Hopefully we'll have a new winner tonight. We've had lots of winners over the past um, few weeks um, with Alan the Alpaca, Gemma Lama, and T-Bone, but maybe we'll get a new one tonight. Let's just see. Um, as I said, there are four types of questions. Most of them are covered in the first round. You can kind of get an idea of how they will work, and hopefully that will work. Groom kids, Quiz bro is going to show that the bro is the brains. I like that. Um, let's try and destroy them then. Okay, let's um, play round one. 
So Disney and Pixar, this question is about all things Disney, all things Pixar, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, let's um, play question number one, shall we? So it's a quiz question. In the film Frozen, who played the voice of Anna? Start on your person symbol here. Hopefully most of you know this. So it, is it red? That's Kirsten Bell. Or is it blue in Dermanzel? What do we think? And if you are new here, you'll understand my spelling is atrocious, my grammar is atrocious. Um, but I don't really care. It's all about fun, right? 29 answers in already. This is wonderful. Uh, we have still got eight seconds. Yes, it was Kristen Bell. So well done to the 25 of you. Now, I, um, if you are new again, it is about speed. The faster you are, the more points you get. So let's see who's number one for the first question. Georgie, well done. And we have one llama in the top five. Well, you can't get rid of llamas, can you? It's just like impossible. But we'll just carry on. So let's go on to um, question number two, shall we, in the round? Okay, in Toy Story, who provides the voice of Buzz Lightyear? Does anyone know this? Does anyone know this at all? Uh, 18 answers already. Wow, you people are fast tonight. Um, got 15 seconds to go. And if you have just joined and you are in late, the pin is just on me here. You can um, clickety-click that and, um, yeah, join in. You have still got time. We're very, very early in. Um, I've lost my gin. That's not good. Right, okay. I found it. It's fine. 30 answers. Well done. Yes, it was Tim Allen. Um, and Tom Hanks played the voice of Woody just for fun. Okay, let's move on to the leaderboard and see who knew that one. Oh, no problem. jumping up there. Stephen, you're in the top five. Hello. And Ellen, hello to you too. Okay, let's move on to question number three in this round. By the way, this round is um, 10 questions. All the others are four or five. So, yeah. Um, when came out in 2003, how many years later was Finding Dory released? Does anyone know this? Answers are coming through fast. You people are quick. So, if we look at those answers, 17 years from then would be 2020. And I'm pretty sure it didn't come out this year if you are struggling. Um, probably giving away some information here that I shouldn't be, but yeah. 30 answers. This is fantastic. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. And let's get the chat a little bit alive as well. OK, it was 13 years. Yes, it came out in 2016. OK, let's move on to the leaderboard and see where we're all at. Georgie, top again. Well done. Lauren Delama, TP, Gemma, H&J, all in the top five. Lima, not Lama, sorry. Um... Astra Dane, you're up by eight places, so well done to you. Um, let's move on to the next question in this round. It's a quiz question. In The Lion King, who is Simba's girlfriend? Is it Kiara, that's red, Sarabi, that is blue, or Nala, that is yellow? Do we know the answers here, guys? You're very quick tonight, I'm liking this. And I thought I'd start you off nice and easy. Yes, see, it was Nala, of course. Sarabi is his mum. Kiara is his daughter in Lion King 2. Used to have a cat named Kiara because of her. Okay, let's look at the leaderboard. Quizzy Witty, well done. Jumping up into the top five there. Charlotte and Ben, jumping up as well. It's great. Okay, let's move on to the next question, shall we? It's a quiz question. Okay, so what is this Pixar short? So there's a picture here, you need to name the Pixar short. Is it the singing volcano? That's red. Is it Piper? That's blue. Is it lava? That's yellow. Or is it the happy song? That is green. Do we like this round, guys? Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this round. It's a nice chilled way to start tonight. And if you have just joined, the pin is like, where is it? It's there. My, I'm using my camera for the first time tonight um, rather than the webcam. So the, hopefully the picture's better for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, anyway, off the subject. Of course, it was lava. And um, Piper is a cool one. Um, it's about this little bird as well. The other two were just random words that I made up. OK, let's look at the leaderboard. Laurent Delama, well done. You're jumping yeah. up there. Seven players got five in a row. So clearly seven people know Disney very well. That's also good news. OK, let's move on to the next question. It is a puzzle question. So left to right, 
put these Pixar films in order from oldest to newest. So you put oldest up in the left and you put your newest up in the right. What do we all think? Oh, you wasn't till that question. I'm sorry. These questions take a bit more time to um, answer. Um, but yeah, you're sliding into slots correctly, maybe incorrectly. Let's, um, I don't know. These questions are always interesting because we always get like about 67% correct. So let's see if we can beat the average and see what we normally are at. 37 of you knew that. Okay, I have the facts. So Toy Story was 1995. Uh, Bugs Life was 1998. Um, Find Your Nemo was 2003, followed by Cars in 2006. And um, yeah, let's look at the leaderboard. Whoa, Laurent de Lima. Jump right up. TP, you're in the top five. Ah, oh, Groom's Quiz, bro, you're beating Groom's Quiz. Well, you know, clearly you're the better sibling. Um, yeah, let's uh, move on to the next one, shall we? Yes, uh, Ellen, maybe it has changed a bit. Um, was Kahu How long has Kahoot been around? I don't even know. Um, Okay, next question is, in the jungle book, what type of animal was Ka? Was he a snake, a tiger, an elephant, or a bear? These answers are coming in so fast tonight. I'm loving this. Does anyone know this? And I don't have any facts for this question, by the way. Just I'm just saying. Uh, 30 answers. There's more than 30 of you playing. Wow. If you have just joined as well, the pin is like just here on me. You can like pop that in, play, join. Yes, it was a snake. 24 of you knew that. Um, I don't think Helen knew that because I've just got a message coming through. Um, um, anyway, um, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Oh, we have fire. Well done, number one. Georgie in the top five as well, well done. Seven in a row to groom, groom, groom quiz bro. Clearly, um, you know your Disney. Um, yeah, uh, let's move on to the next question. Okay, in Walt Disney's 2010 version of the film Alice in Wonderland, Johnny Depp played the Mad Hatter. Is that true or is that false? Um, yes, Kahoot's got lots of cool features. They keep changing features as well, so that's why I like doing this. It's really easy to play. 29 answers of 30 of you. Oh my God, you've got them. 31, wow. Thank you for continually joining me, guys. This is wonderful. Yes, it was true. One person got that wrong. Wonder who it was. Let's look at the leaderboard. Shah and Ben jumping up there, and Georgie as well. And um, you're still maintaining your streak there, eight in a row. So well done to you. Clearly, you're um, well. You're almost a thousand points ahead. So let's hopefully you can maintain that. Okay, let's have a look at um, the next question. So this is open ended. This could be anything. Name the monster from name the monster from Monster Inc. from Monster Inc. that only had one eye. Just a simple name. It's one word. And if you are um, new here, with these open-ended questions, I do not put punctuation in. I do not put capital letters in. The only thing I do do is put spaces just for your reference in case you moan at me in the comments because I did something wrong. Um, but that's how they work, just because it makes it easier for everyone that is kind of doing the questions. 29 of you got that answer in. Let's have a look at what to... I'm surprised people don't know this. 16 of you did. Uh, Mike, yes, nice and easy. Mike, okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at the leaderboard. H&J um, and Quiz Witty, well done. Jumping up there. Nine players have got three in a row as well. Good. Um, okay, last question of the round. I believe this is a quiz double points question, potentially. Yes, double points. So this is worth potentially 4,000 points. So when was Disney Plus released in the UK? Obviously, you can see there, there are months and there are dates. Um, you know one, not the other. Don't click what you don't know, because if you get one right and one wrong, you get zero points. You get no points whatsoever. Oh, you can only select one. I must have screwed up that question. Apologies, just click one and um, yeah, see, this is where I don't know what I'm doing. And yeah. oh, well, um, but they were both right options. 
you just they were both right options you just couldn't pick both of them ah made a mistake there didn't i oh well let's have a look at the leaderboard georgie t-bone no problem jumping into the top five there well done steven three in a row okay that's it guys that is the end of round one do we like that was that fun we got the minds thinking um let's move on what is round number two tp are you there yes it's all about naps and snacks you asked for it so i've delivered it so i expect you to achieve a full house in this round okay a full house i'm not asking for much more than that okay let's play question number one it's a quiz question where would the below where would you find the below room? so this is a room where would you find that is that in the google offices is that at Facebook or is that at the Apple headquarters? I'm sure some of you will know this. It's quite a common thing that was released. I think it was released about five years ago now. Um, 29 of you have answered. If you are um, joining us, the pin is here. You can um, pop that in and join us. Yes, it was the Google offices. They are called nap pods. They have nap rooms at all offices of Google. Um, would love that at my work. Ah, oh, my dream room. Yeah, guys, I know. I, it's, it is the dream, right, having that at work. Um, yeah, most places don't do it, but Google do. Um, let's move on to the next question. Um, this question is fairly UK-based, so apologies to the at least one person that's not in the UK. Hopefully you'll know the answer. Um, maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Um, go. Okay, it's a quiz question. So how much did these used to cost in the good old days. So look at this chocolate bar. How much did they used to cost? Like back in the day when they were first launched, how much did they cost? Does anyone know? What are you all drinking tonight as well? Let me know. I've got gin as usual. I wouldn't do this without, but I've just realized what am I, what's my mistake guys? Oh my God, I cannot believe this. I'm really, ooh. I've been wearing a t-shirt and um, I wasn't wearing the Quizmaster jacket. I feel like I've just failed at life. Oh my God. There we are. That's much better. I feel so much more quiz-like now. Um, yes, it was 10p. Well done to the 16 of you. 5p was not an option. Um, uh, yeah, and now they are currently, I think they're like 27p or something. It's ridiculous if you ask me. But, um, yeah. Um, let's do that. Look at the leaderboard. I'm just going to move the pin up here because now I'm colourful. Jones fan, well done. You climbed four places there. That's good news. Um, Groom Quiz Bro, you're still in the top place. 2,000 points ahead. Cruising nicely. Well done. Um, let's go to question number three in this round. Um, bear with me for one second. There we are. Okay, this is a quiz question again. Again, this is an English-based question. I'm really sorry. Um, which of the below capsule was used for Kinder Surprise? But actually, I thought like this is European. So if it's European, you should know the answer to this. Um, so this was a thing as a child. We had like this Kinder egg, like a chocolate egg. Had a capsule on the inside of it. Um, they cost a stupid amount now. I agree, Amy. Yes, they're way too expensive. And they're tiny. They haven't changed the size for the price. Yes, it was yellow. Everyone knew that. Clearly, um, it's European and not. Um, yeah, well done, everyone. Now, who got that fastest? Stephen, you're taking second place here. Well done. Laurent Delama is back with three in a row as well. Well done. Um, okay. Lima, 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 Lima. He's not a llama, he's a Lima. Okay, next question is, how long does the average 9 to 12 month old nap daily? Now, this is taken from facts and things. If you have a 9 to 12 month old and they don't nap this amount, do not blame me. These are statistics from generic kind of things. Is it every hour? Is it four to five hours a day? Is it one hour a day? Or is it two to three hours a day? What do we think? Does anyone know? Tea. Helen, what, what, are you having a cup of tea? Are you drinking tea? Where's your alcohol? Where's your beer? Um, it was two to three hours a day. Yes, um, quite interesting. I suppose that as they get older, they sleep less and they become more annoying. Um, I didn't say that out loud, did I? Okay. Um, final question of the round. This is a big points question. If you are following me on um, Instagram and also on the Facebook page, you may have got a hint about this to maybe do some research this week. So let's have a look at the question. After the leaderboard, H and J, 
Lauren de Lima, well done, jumping into the top five. And Jones Fam as well, doing well there. Okay, we're ready for the next question. Okay, it's a multi-select, so multiple points, and it's worth double points. This is potentially worth 8,000 points. Those crisps are yum, but they have many different names in different countries. Which of the below is one of them? So we've got Smiths, that's red, Chipsies, that's blue, Lay's, that's yellow, and Green, that is Jones. There are multiple options here. There could be more than one. Only select the ones you know, because if you get one right and one wrong, you get zero points. Very important to remember there. Ah, okay, 25 answers. You're pretty quick, guys. Does anyone know all the options? This is quite exciting. Let's have a look, shall we? Yes, okay, so facts here. Smiths are Australian-based. Chipsies are, where's my facts, where's my facts, where's my facts, are from Brazil, and Lay's are obviously European and the rest of the world. So let's have a look. Looks like one person, maybe got three, potentially. So let's have a look at the leaderboard. <sighs> Smarticious, back with three in a row. Uh, Laurent de Lima, Shar and Ben. Jones Firm will jump in there. Groom Chris, bro, you've still got your maintenance. Well done, you're keeping your buffer there. That's good. Um, okay, that's the end of that round. Um, shall we go to the next one? Okay, what is it? What do we think? Okay, shall we go for some general knowledge? A few general knowledge questions thrown in. Why not? Um, let's go with question number one. How do T how did TP TP, how did you do with that round? Henry the Seventh was the first king of the Tudor house. Is that true or is that false? I have the worst general knowledge. Oh, you did shit, Teresa. That's not good. It's not good. That round was for you. You asked for that round. 28 answers, 29 of you. Okay, uh, the pin is up there as well. If you have joined, you can still enter. It's all to play for. There is a round at the end of this game, which is going to destroy the leaderboard, I hope. It was true, yes, and he reigned from 1485 to 1509, if you wanted the information. That was, though, that was a good round. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you thought it was a good round. Okay, question number two. Umaro Nuno. Numo. Um, no, leaderboard, leaderboard. H&J, Jones Farm, hello. Welcome to the top five. Seen you here before. Hopefully you can keep it up this week. Yay, history. I love history too, Oliver. Okay, let's move on to question number two. I already said that. Awkward. What Australian soap move from BBC Channel 5 in 2008? Again, I'm sorry, this is an English question. Um, was it Home and Away? That's red. Or was it Neighbours? That's blue. The information for you here is they're both on Channel 5 now. Not that that really helps you. Do we have any soap viewers in the audience? Yes, it was Neighbours. Well done to 22 of you. Let's have a look. Keeping the maintenance here, liking that. Nothing changed, but three players have got six in a row. Clever people. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Next question. This is a open-ended question. This answer could be anything. Again, no grammar, no, la no large letters, just simple, basic words. The American singer, Stephanie Joanne Angela Germotona is best known by which stage name? Come on guys, you know the answer to this. It's a very popular singer. Um, it's a female. Um, I'm sure you got that with the name anyway. Uh, uh. Are we having fun? Are you on like your, your group chats? Um, sending thousands of messages that I'm going to have to read after, but I'm in. Um, does anyone know this? 31 of you guessed. Oh, Lady Gags is not a valid answer, whoever wrote that. Who wrote that? Maybe, oh, the S and the A's next to each other on the keyboard. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, clearly you didn't press. If you'd waited one second, double checked it, you would have got some points. But anyway, let's look at the leaderboard. No changes. However, the clever quiz person at the top didn't know the answer, so the gap is getting close here. There's like mm, 300, 400 points in it. Laura, well done. Eight places up. That's very impressive. You was obviously fast. Okay, next question. Quiz question. Ooh, double points. 
How many Oscars has Leonardo DiCaprio won? How many? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it five? Answers are false. Does anyone know this? I'll give you a hint. Um, it wasn't for Titanic. Does that help you? Does that make you more confused? 31 answers. There's more than 31 people playing. Oh my god. Yes, if you are new, the pin is like... My camera's in reverse now, like, because like, the camera does the opposite for me, so it's very confusing. But the pin is there. You can join. It was one. He won this for a film called The Reverend in 2016. There you are. Some interesting um, facts. Okay, leaderboard time. Laurent the Lima has overtaken Groom's Quiz Bro. You need to get um, your finger out and start answering some questions, right? Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, Ellen, well done. Three in a row. Okay. That's the end of that round. Or is it? No. Hmm, there's one more question. It's a quiz question. It's a multi-select question. And it's worth double points. Oh my God. This is going to like... Pff. Which of these books are from the Bible? Now, this consists of all different varieties of Bibles across the world that's ever had Bibles. So we've got Revelation, we've got Judith, we've got Genesis, we've got Number. What do we think? Is it one of them? Is it two of them? Is it three of them? Do we know what three it is? Do we know what four it is? Do we know what one it is? Do we know? 29 answers are through already. Hopefully there's some religious people in the audience. It was all of them. Yes, it was all of them. Um, three of you knew it was Judith. Um, I'm going to, I guess, groom quizzes. Maybe knew that Judith was in there. Um, but, um, you know, it's cool. Uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard. No changes. No changes whatsoever. Interesting. However, the gap's getting tight at the top. Um, beard face, three in a row. Well done to you. Okay, that's the end of that round. Um, next round we're moving on to. Uh, there's two more rounds left before we're going to get a little break, get a drink, and um, yeah. Uh, this is all about Friends, the TV show. One of my favourite TV shows. Um, great show. Ten seasons of solid, solid content. Yeah, that's not a question, by the way. Um, let's play question number one, shall we? Ooh. It's a quiz question, and it's multiple select. I don't think it is multiple select, just so I'm saying. What was the coffee shop before? It was a coffee shop. That was a hint there that maybe it's just one thing. So don't select multiple things. It can't be multiple. It can't be multiple. I mean, if you're selecting multiple things, um, you, you're stupid because you're going to lose points. Um, 31 answers. Yes, it was a bar. Did you know that? It was in the season. It was in episode one very briefly, but also in season three, there was an episode where they did a flashback of them being in the bar, playing porn and stuff. So yeah, um, well done. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Groom Quiz Bro didn't know that. Lol, FML. Helen, don't FML. It's not an FML kind of situation here. Okay, next question. Yeah. Quiz question. Monica and Chandler Bing become an item in series four after spending the night together in city. Was it Rome, Long Island, London, or Minsk? Minsk. Minsk. Minsk? Minsk. Um, Minsk. I can't say that. Hmm. Helen, do you know this one? It was London. Yes, London town. They um, went on a little holiday, went on a little holiday and they, um, they went jiggy jiggy and um, the rest is history. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. <sighs> Groom quiz bro, friends is not your round. The H&J, second spot, you're doing well there. Can you take the top spot by the end of this round? Let's have a look at the next question. Multi-select. Oh my God, and it's double points. Ooh, what are the names of Ross and Monica's parents? Do we know this? Is it Judy, Red, Jamie, Blue? Judith, yellow, Jack, green. Now, obviously, there's going to be two answers here, in theory. One would be female, one would be male, if that helps anyone. I'm not sure it does, but, um, yeah. I do not. You do not. Oh, why not, Helen? Yes, it was Jack and Judy. Did anyone get... Well, 23 of you at least got both right, I'm assuming. So, uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Well done. Well done. 
Maintenance is staying in the top. We need some interest in the top five guys. Um, can someone um, please? Um, there's a question soon that could hopefully change this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What is the name of Rachel's assistant? She hires an assistant in like series five or six. Is it Tom? Is it Tag? Or is it Kim? It's one of my favourite kind of um, like what's the word? Like little mini roles because he was really funny. They had they had lots of um, intimacy as well. There's more than thirty one people playing. Wow. And if if you have joined, uh, the pin is there. Like there there. Um, it was Tag, yes. Um, she hired the cute boy over the person that could do the job, but that's Rachel. Um, okay, let's move on to the leaderboard. Georgie, hello, welcome to the top five. Um, well done. Three players got six in a row. Three players, knew, three players know friends quite well. Do those three same players know this last question? It's double points and it's wham, shabam. Triple points, like, I think. Multi-select, <gasps> double points. What could the question be? Ross has fa had a few failed marriages, but with who? Does anyone know this? Was it Janice? Everyone loves Janice. Was it Emily? Was it Rachel or was it Carol? Was it more than one of them? Was it two of them? Was it three of them? Was it all of them? What do we think, guys? 30 of you have answered. If you have joined the pinners like there, you can like, oh, 32. Oh my God, there's so many people playing tonight. What is going on? Thank you. Um, and if you do enjoy this, remember you can tell your friends, your family, tell all of them, let them come to my channel. Yes, Emily, was his nice English? No, that was Mona. No, Emily is English, yes. And you got Carol, who is Ben's mother. And then of course, Rachel from the main cast. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Jones fam, you know your friends, no problem. We have a llama in the top five. Hello, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. Um, three players got seven in a row. Well done. Okay, that's the end of that round, guys. Did we like that round? Are they too easy tonight? What do you think? I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the final round before we have a three minute break. Oh, wait, no, we're having a break. I changed the plan. Go and have a break. Go grab a drink. Um, go for a wee. Um, leave your app open, don't close your app, because if you close your app, um, you will struggle to lose your points. Don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, go and do a wee if you want to do a wee. I'm just going to sit here because I've got so much drink left, actually. I'm doing well. For the last two weeks, I've only had, like, one gin, which I think is quite good. Like, I'm not becoming an alcoholic. I mean, they are very generous um, things. Bring back flags. Um, actually, there is a question about flags later in the game. Um... What flavor gin have I got? I am um, tonight. I am. I've got a pink civilian gin um, from Seville, uh, Spain, um, from one of my Spanish trips, which I used to take all the time until you know they told me I couldn't go anymore. Um, but it's delicious gin. I've got that match with a fever tree um, tonic. So yeah. Does anyone else want to ask me any questions while we're here? I need to do a Q and A video for my channel because um, it's. I've been on YouTube four years. On, it, on Sunday, making videos for four bloody years, and I need to make a video. So if you have any questions you want to ask me to answer in more depth, you can leave them in the comments Alexa. if you want to ask me that kind of thing. Oh, I always wanted to try that. It is delicious, Ellen. I recommend you going and buying a bottle. What is my favourite colour? Okay, maybe I'll answer that in the video. You might have to go and watch it, Teresa. Hopefully you've all um, refilled or not refilled. I'm not really sure. I'm going to give everyone else like another minute just in case. I'm just going to carry on talking away Why you do too. Um, but yeah, or maybe I should get more gin actually. It's running a little bit low. No, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be sensible tonight. Um, save the gin, save the alcohol, let it spread out because we could be here for um, months. Um, and if you haven't seen already, I am doing, uh, if I didn't mention it, there is one on Sunday. We're doing a bonus quiz on Sunday. Um, so, pair with it. So, Ellen, I've got a fever tree Mediterranean tonic with this and a few limes. Just brings out kind of the sourness to the gin. Um, so I really like it. It's got like a sweetness from the gin, but also the sour from the lime. And it, it, together, it's quite nice. And, um, yeah, that's my answer, really. Um, so, I think the next round, actually, the next half is going to have six quick rounds in it. But they are quite small rounds. Um Two rounds are quite mini. Um, yeah. Should we play the next round? What do you think? 
Um, yes, okay, let's play. Next round is an easy anagrams round. Now, I know I did an anagrams round about two or three weeks ago, and the people that were here were probably thinking, what the hell? Oh, my God, no. This is super easy. Like, if you don't get them, I won't say any more. Let's just play. And here is anagram number one. So they're all open-ended. So the first one is nag a ram. Nag a ram, you have to type what the word is. What is this? You guys are quick. Let's hope you know some of these. Well, Amy, I'm glad you're excited to play. Hopefully you all know this. Um, I started off really easy, like, this is like, ridiculously easy, like, I'm expecting everyone to get an answer in at least, like, there's a couple of you missing, press submit guys, or did you run away, am I boring, am I not entertaining you enough, you're losing, you are losing Amy, but there is time to go up, yes, it was anagram, hence the name, see, I made it so bloody easy for you, let's have a look and see, he was fast, very nice top five maintaining. Can we um, like get someone else up there, please? Thank you. Um, Amy, you was in the top three last week. You need to jump back up. Um, okay, let's move on to the next anagram. Santa. S-A-N-T-A. -A. What is this? There's only one it could be. It's quite simple. Um, you are losing, but it's you can, you've got time. There's like six rounds here, you've got time. Does anyone know this? Is it easy enough? Couple of swapsies around, like move a couple of letters. I'll give you a clue. It starts with an S, if you haven't got that already. It starts with an S. Does that help? Does that help anyone? Was anyone like a bit like confused, but now they're like, ooh, this is better. Yes, it was Satan. Who got that right? 12 of you. Well done. I think the question dropped out early there or something. Uh, let's have a look. Well done, H and J. You're catching up. There's a slight closure in the leaderboard. Beard face, three in a row. So well done to you. Lots of cool names tonight, by the way, guys. And what I'm also thinking of doing is doing like a monthly maybe. So all the leaderboard from May are going to combine. And um, yeah, this is cut herbs. This is a one word. It's only one word. Just make your life easier, if that helps. Um, the place where you might get this kind of thing might use cut herbs on it afterwards if that helps so you might use cut herbs on this afterwards once you've been there and done that and like done that one word nice and easy anyone know it 17 of you have got answers in it was butchers with an s 12 of you knew that let's have a look and um, see the leaderboard Stephen, well done, 10 in a row. No one in the top five knew that, which means, sadly, I can't see the lower leaderboard. I would like to know, if you're in sixth place and you've got chat, how many points do you have? Like, is it close? Are you, like, just under 36,000? Can you let me know? Because I'd like to see, like, where the differentiation is and, you know, yeah. Um, anyway, let's move into the next one. Again, it's a nice, easy anagram. Lives. Lives. Lives? Lives. Lives, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. This is a word, um, it um, could be someone that's maybe not alive anymore, if that helps anyone. Maybe, am I giving too much away? It's all about speed anyway, so if you got it in fast, you got it. Um, yeah, um, not alive, uh, what else? Um, they might sing a song or two. It was Elvis. Well done. Did anyone get that right? Six of you. Well done. Is any one of those six in the top five? Jones fam. Well done. Well done. Okay, that's it. I'm done with anagrams. There's only four. It was like a mini little round for you. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's move on. Next round is... Films. So these are questions about films. They're not really films, films, like... because. I'm not really a film person, but they're kind of like just generic, like filmy, filmy kind of, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's move on and um, play the round. 
If you have joined, the pin is above my head. You can also join. Quiz question. What is the name of Chuck's friend in Castaway? This is a film from the year 2000. Was it Wesley? That's red. Wilson is blue. William is yellow and Wanda is green. I hope you all know this. This is my favorite film, like, like with The Lion King. They're, they're like my two favorite films of all time. Um, and the pin is up there if you need to join as well. Um, and if you're enjoying this, you can go and tell your friends, you can tell your family, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, yeah, like, Castaway is my life right now. Yes, Helen, Castaway is your life. Have you got a Wilson? Do you have a Wilson that you talk to every day? Um, okay, 27 of you knew that, which is wonderful. So let's just um, click on the leaderboard. So let's have a look at the leaderboard, see where we're going. And yeah, um, everyone in the top five knew that. I do draw a face on an egg. Um, what, what, so what happens when you have one egg left? Do you kill Wilson and eat him for breakfast or do you keep Wilson? And um, yeah, quiz witty, well done, three in a row. We need a, a gap and we need some winning on the top guys, yeah. Okay, next question is this. Um, it's a film question again. Who directed Titanic, Avatar, and The Terminator? Quentin Tarantino, James Cameron, Danny Boyle, or Steven Spielberg? Um, I never. You'd never eat Wilson. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad Wilson has a friend. Does anyone know this? Twenty-seven of you have got an answer, but is it right? That's the question. Um, 30 of you. Hello. All 30 of you. This is exciting. Clearly I'm doing something wonderful that makes you all want to come back and see my wonderful face weekly. It was James Cameron. Yes, well done. Um, this film round is pretty chill, but, um, yeah. Um, next question alert is a English style question. Sorry. Sharon, Ben, well done. You're making a comeback. Um, if you're sixth, seventh, eighth, can you let me know how many points you've got? I really want to know when this leaderboard's going to change because I'm getting really bored of it now. I need like some fresh faces up here. Laurent de Lima needs to like go back to his Lima pen. Which of the large cinema chains in the UK will not show Universal films when they reopen? This was done when there was only one. So this is the first one that was released information. PR have just told me there might be two. So um, this is the first one that was released. Um, the reason for this is basically they've started releasing them on things like Sky Store Premiere and they're doing so well and they want to continue to do that after the cinemas reopen. But the cinemas like, no, nah, we're just not gonna stop your film. So yeah, very strange. Like why would you not want to take some money rather than no money beyond me? It was Odeon, yes. It was Odeon Cinemas. They are gonna uh, screw people over basically. If you have a lovely cinema pass, it's pointless for a lot of films. So um, let's look at the leaderboard. And yes, Cookie, welcome back three in a row. That's wonderful news. Okay, next question. This might be a crazy question. It's a quiz question. It's a multi-select question. And it's a double points question. Oh my God. Which may, may be, which, which may be three films make up what is known as the Three Flavours Cornetto Trilogy? I think I made a mistake in the spelling here. I'm not really sure. Which may? Which? I don't know. But here, well, here we go again. Shaun of the Dead, The World's End and Hot Buzz. Now... I know it's hot. I know that. It's purpose. Um, my PR team team telling me I saw something wrong, but I haven't got something wrong. Um, it was Shaun of the Dead, Wilson, and Hot Fuzz. You need fuzz, not buzz. If you pressed Hot Buzz, I'm sorry, but you don't get any points there. That's your own fault. Um, you should have read the words. My spelling was correct and on point here. It was purely for entertainment purposes. So, which seven of you, maybe, got that right? Oh, hello, Stephen. Welcome to the top five. Clearly, you know how to read a question and an answer and interpret that they could be a mistake or not a mistake. Well done. Well done, Stephen. Congratulations. And T-Bone, you got three in a row as well. Um, people are not angry. My phone is buzzing like crazy because people are not happy, but um, that's the way they go. That's the way the cookie crumbles. 
Okay, next question is worth double points. To date this year, which movie has made the most at the worldwide box office? Obviously, we have to consider that box office had closed down a while back because of the situation. So was it Bad Boys for Life? Was it Doolittle or was it Sonic the Hedgehog? You're all used to my typo. Typo's Matt Flandy. Well, I'm sorry, but my typo was incorrectly correct. The purpose this time. I maybe should have said at the start of that question, look at for the spelling. The spelling is key here. But I didn't, so there we are. Um, it is a bad boys for life. Yes, well done. Um, I can't, don't have the numbers down here. Oh, do I? No, I do. It's 418 million they've made, which isn't a lot considering um, we're in May, but that's what happens when um, COVID strikes. You are used to your time. Oh, no. um, anyway, uh, that is the end of that round. Groom quiz bro jumping up trees and thugs. Hello, top five. It's nice to see some new faces up here. Um, can anyone catch Laurent the Lima? Um, okay, shall we do another round? A different round. Okay, what should we do? What do you what do you want, guys? Well, as you all loved it last week, I thought I would do another one. Um, it's all about Harry Potter. So this is a question round about Harry Potter. Let's go. And if you have just joined, the pin is there. You can um, join, join, join. Um, let's play question number one for this Harry Potter round. How many staircases does Hogwarts have? Does anyone know this? Is it 112? That's red. 173 is blue. 142 is yellow. 64 is green. Now you were all telling me in the chat so that Harry Potter's amazing, you know everything about him. Let's see how much of you actually know things about him. Oh, 30 answers in. This is good. Are we liking this round? Do we, any, other, yeah, any other round you want next week as well, let me know in the comments. It was 142 and I have no facts about that. In fact, I don't really have many facts about this round at all. Well done to the 17 of you that knew that. Let's have a look and see if the leaderboard has changed. I only watched the first Harry Potter movie. Ellen, until recently, I'd only watched the first three. But honestly, over the period of like the last three months, I've watched all of them and they changed my life. Like such a good story. Go watch them. Really go watch them. Teresa and Fergus, you were fast. Well done. Jumping up there. Jones Firm is still in the top five though. Let's move on to question number two in um, this Harry Potter round. Who takes the place of the fat lady at the entrance of the Gryffindor Common Room in the of Azkaban? Was it Mathilda Hop Crick, Moaning Myrtle, or Sir Cardigan? That might be a spelling, see? Maybe it's not a spelling, I don't know. Do we know? 28 answers. God, guys, you're quick. I need to, um, yeah. Is this round too easy? Like, I was going to get ridiculously hard questions and I was reading some of them and I'm like, the answers are not even in the story. So, like, you'd have to, like, be a nerd. It was Sir Cardigan. So, well done to 15 of you. Let's look at the leaderboard. Teresa and Fergs, you're on fire. Well done. The leaderboard could be changing now. We've got a nice mixture in the top, actually. It's quite nice to see new names up here. Okay, next question is this. It's a quiz question. Who was the Muggles studies teacher at Hogwarts? Was it Gildery Lockhart, Charity Burbage, or Sylvie Hurlewatch? So you can tell that I just don't know what I'm doing. Sylvie Hurlewatch? No, 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 just no. By the way, if you can hear that laugh in the background, it is a PR team. They're um, very bad PR, but um, they're here for entertainment purposes only. Um, 30 answers are in. Anyone know this? It was Charity Burbage. Well done to 17 of you. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. No moves, no moves, but we're doing all right. Like, it's going to be tight. Lost your internet for a while, but you're back. That's all right, Helen. I'll combine your scores after. Not a problem. Um, okay, next question. True or false? Harry had to stay in the wing more than five times. What do we think? Do we know this? Was it true? Was it false? Oh, Helen, you'd have the PR team. I don't. They're really annoying. Hopefully you're all still here. Are you also? I mean, you are still here. You're answering questions. 
your fave, what the hospital or the PR, you 30 of you have answered this. Wow, it was actually true. He has visited six times over the course for personal injuries, as well as the times he visited other people. He stayed, yeah, he stayed in the hospital. So this is why I don't like the PR team. They've stayed in the hospital. He stayed in the hospital for six times. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, we stand the we stand the PR team. Oliver, I don't stand the PR team. I don't even know what that means. I'm just really dumb. Oh, Georgie, hello. How are you? Welcome to the top five. Um, H and J, well done. You got fire next to your name now. Like, okay. Um, there is one more question here. It is a slidey slidey question. It's about speed and accuracy. And yes, let's. Um, this is really easy, really, if I'm being honest. Put the houses in order alphabetically. So we have got Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. You need to slide them in order with uh, A left all across to the last letter, Z. It's all about speed here, because you should all know it. You should all know your alphabets. Even if you never watch Harry Potter, you should know something. And if you haven't already, you can give me a like on this video. It really does help me. Just, just saying, if you want to after. Yes, 90% of you can do your ABCs. Well done. 10% of you need to go back to school, but that's fine. Um, they are reopening at some point in the near 2021. Um, let's have a look. H and J, you did not get any points there. I think you, um, so, a, B, no, I won't do that, but um, <laughs> sorry for picking on you, but you were there. Um, glad you love Harry Potter, Georgia. Me too. And um, that's the end of the question. So next question is around about London, London town. Does anyone like the idea of this round? Does anyone not like the idea of this round? Let's play question number one. Sadiq Khan became the mayor of London in 2006. True or false? 2016. God, you guys are quick. Um, yes, Helen, that was sass. Um, apologies, H&J, but not apologies, like, I mean, just, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, was this true? Was this false? What do we all think? There's at least 32 if you play, and oh my God, I'm becoming like YouTube quiz master, jolly was famous. It was true. Well done to 21 of you. Let's look at the leaderboard. Ooh, most of you in the top five knew that. Five players have got three in a row as well, so well done to you. And um, let's move on to the next question. Which London park is famous for its speaker's corner? Was it Hyde Park? Is it St James Park? Or is it Regent's Park? What do we think here? I have no facts. Oh, I have no facts for this round, by the way. This is just me gossiping and chatting. And um, yeah, so I said we're back on Sunday. I'm going to do like a chilled kind of Sunday vibes. Um, trying to make it a bit more fun. Jamie is king. What a quiz master. Thank you, Ben. That's coming through on some private messages. Um, I've got like little notifications up here, so that's quite nice. Thanks, Ben. I really appreciate that. It was Hyde Park, yes. Uh, Speaker's Corner is near Hyde Park. Um, there you are. Um, let's look at the leaderboard. <laughs> Georgie, hello. Top three, very nice. You're catching up here. And Jones fam as well, three in a row. It's nice to see variation because often we'll get to like round four or five and it's just the same people that will sit there. So yeah, I spiced it up today, hopefully. Okay, next question is a quiz question. What is the London? What is London is the Emirates airline? See again, another spelling mistake here. Is it a ferry boat? Is it a cable car that links across the Thames? Or is it one of the tube lines? Manic laughing from the PR team. Yes, Helen, there is manic laughing from the PR team, yes. Do we know this? Um, do you drive by boat? Um, is it a tube line? The Emirates tube line, that sounds quite posh, doesn't it? Like, it's like the Elizabeth line or something like modern posh up-to-date 
not hard. Yes, it was a cable car. Well done to 30 of you. Clearly, um, you know London. Let's have a look. Good steady points there. I think there's a possible to get rid of this lemur off the top. Where are my llamas? Llamas, um, are you playing? I know there's a Gemma llama. There's a, what's that other llama called? Um, oh, whoops, that's awkward. Um, but can you um, please jump back up? I like seeing llamas in the top. It's quite fun. Quiz question. <gasps> Multi-select question. <gasps> Double points question. <gasps> Which tube lines are blue? Got the Central Line, the Victoria Line, the Piccadilly Line, the Bakerloo Line. How many of these are blue? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it... F wow, you guys are quick. Are you enjoying this round, guys? Do you like a bit of London? Is it quite nice? Yes, it was Victoria and Piccadilly. So some of you only selected one, but some of you selected both. So it, this is going to be interesting here. Let's have a look. It's happened. The top five changed. Thank God for that. Yes, trees are in Ferb as well. Done. Jones fam, hello. Sharon, Ben, hello. Lots of new people up here. This is exciting. Um, let's hopefully we can catch it. Um, what's this? I heard Helen lives on an old Piccadilly line train. Helen, do you live on an old Piccadilly line train? Is this true? Um, let's look at the next question, shall we? Um, there is one more question in this round. It's a quiz question. It's a multi-select question. Oh, it's double points. <laughs> what years did London host the Olympic Games? There's the London, there's the Olympic symbol. Now, obviously, most of you will know it's at least one of these. Um, a more recent one. There are a few others. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe none. Maybe this, maybe it's just 20. Oh, well, I've said too much. Well, if you didn't get it right. Um, yes, yeah, so it was 1908 followed by 1948 and then nine, uh, 2012. Well done. Well done, guys. So eight of you should get points here for all three. Let's have a look. <sighs> Groom, quiz, bro, Sharon, Ben. This is much more interesting though. I'm loving this leaderboard. It's actually giving me like some excitement in my like blood and stuff. Um, Gemma Llama, well done. Three in a row. Okay, there's a llama, that's a llama. Llama, jump, jump, jump. Okay, that is the end of that round. We've got two more rounds to go. Next round is a classic cocktails round. So this round, there are going to be five classic cocktails. They're all reveal pictures. So the picture will slowly appear pixel by pixel. You have to simply, there are two where you have to type the names in. Um, again, no grammar, no, only spaces. There are multiple words. So word, space, word. That's that. There are a few other true or false and a couple of choices. So let's play cocktails. Is any of you, are any of you drinking a cocktail tonight? So this is worth double points, this one. Name the cocktail. Name this cocktail. Have a look and name it. What is it? Can anyone see what it is? Picture's coming through now. And spelling is key here. I've double checked my spelling, so your spelling needs to be double checked too. Answers are coming through fast. This is one of my favorite cocktails. Um, there'll be a llama watching. Um, Another llama, not Gemma llama, the other llama. I've really forgotten your name. What is your name? No problem, llama. Yes, um, you're my cocktail drinking buddy. So um, yes, we have these to finish the night, don't we? It's quite bougie of us. It was an espresso martini, not a mart. Sorry, did you run out of space to time and just press enter? Yes, 19 of you knew that. Let's look at the leaderboard. Oh, yes, change, change, change. No problem. It's like I sent you signals there about our cocktail drinking times and like you made it to the top five. Hello, welcome. Please stay around. Um, yes. Um, okay, James fan, jumping up as well. And Georgie. Ellen, you're also back in the game with three. And oh, Oliver Rose, it's your favourite cocktail too. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, let's look at the next cocktail. This is a quiz question. So name this cocktail. There are options. So this is Cesarac, a mint julep, a mojito, or a gimlet. What is this? What is this? Come on, you gotta be fast here, guys. Again, I do like quite like this cocktail. It's very um, limey, and it's very minty, as you can see from that picture. FFC Espresso Mart. Um, yeah, I know. 32 aren't, who's playing? How many of you are actually playing? This is so exciting. 
Yes, it was a mojito. Well done. Um, I'm not sure if the mint julep is... Well, it's not that. So, yeah. These are classic cocktails. That's part of the round. So they're all going to be classically classic drinks. Okay, next one. Oh, no, 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 no. Beaterboard. No problema. You drink way too much, clearly. Um, or you're just very quick at this. Or maybe you just got the answer sent to you via email. No, that didn't really happen. No one cheats here. Um, Victor Vancuna. Hello. Hi. How are you? You wasn't here at the start, but welcome. You got nine in a row. So clearly you're, you know, London, you know, cocktail. This is good. Um, let's move on to the third cocktail. True or false? This is a margarita cocktail. Is it true or is it false? No one's getting early, which is interesting. 22 seconds, guys. You need to be fast. I was hoping that someone might just go in really early and like guess and gamble and like try and get some points, but no one did. Yes, that is, um, is it a margarita? I mean, last time I checked a margarita, it um, had sugar. No, 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 salt and lime and tequila. No, that is, that picture there was a tequila sunrise. So well done to the 26 of you that knew that. Let's um, look at the leaderboard. Stoddy, steady, everyone's in it. That, it was a tequila sunrise, Georgie, it was. Um, okay, and next question. This is another question. What spirit is used to make the, to uh, make the below? What spirit do we use to uh, make this? Do we use tequila? Do we use gin? Do we use vodka? Or do we use rum? What do we think, guys? Can we see what it is? Answers are coming through fast. Got 10 seconds to go now. What do we think? Oh, wait, that looks familiar. Wasn't I just talking about that? I mean, if you're answering now, you're not gonna get any points anyway. Well done. Sorry. Um, it's tequila, guys. You make a margarita with tequila. It's, um, yeah, again, I do like a good margarita. My friend back on the Gold Coast, um, when I lived there, introduced me to them, and um, they are probably one of my favourite cocktails, up there with the mojito, with the espresso martini. Um, clearly, I'm an alcoholic. But anyway, um, there is just one more question. This question is a typing question after the leaderboard, after the leaderboard. Six of you, have you got three in a row? So well done to six of you, that's good news. Um, let's look at the final one. So you need to type this cocktail in. What is this cocktail? Oh, and it's worth double points. Double points, double points. That's, this could change the leaderboard, guys. What is this? Bit of wood, it's a bit of glass. Bit of glass, bit of wood. This isn't very helpful, is it? Oh, I can see like a shot there of some kind. You've got 15 seconds left, guys. Come on, you need to be quick. Do we know what this is? Oh, I can see a passion fruit now. I can see like a shot there, like a busy shot. Is it like a pinky orangey colour? Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? What do we think? What are these answers going to be? Well, the answer is a porn star martini. And I did actually accept porn star there, but no one even went for porn star. Eight of you knew that though. Which eight of you knew that? No problem. Hello, Charlotte and Ben. Welcome to the top. It's nice to see you. Um, three players just hit four in a row. Okay, guys. So um, that's not quite it. That is the end of that round. But there is one more round. Now I'm going to call this round a crazy round. The, qu the round that could go wrong. So there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of points up for grabs here. Each question is potentially worth 8,000 points. So in each question, there is a question, there is a picture, not that the picture helps. You have to guess. So there, there are things like, for example, what colour could milk be? And if it was green top, red top, yellow top, you'd select the tops that matched correctly. We got that. Are we ready? There's only four questions here. So um, let's go. They're all multi-select, as I said. They're all double points. Get one wrong here, you get no points. So if you know one, but not others, select just what you know in each question. So the moons of Jupiter. 
Moons of Jupiter. Do we know one? Do we know two? Do we know more? Do we know none? This is a archaeological question. By the way, maps lover, the maps question is um, coming up very soon. Yes, it was Cas Callisto, Sinope, and Carlaho. Rave Randora, I just wrote random words in. So, yeah. Oh, it's astronomy. Thank you, Helen. Yes, astronomy. So, astronomers out there, um, maybe five of you knew three, hopefully? No, archaeology. No, archaeology is bones like um, dinosaurs. <coughs> <gasps> Quizy witty. Hello. Dragon, you climbed really high there as well. Well done. Um, okay, well done, guys. Let's look at the next one. This one is multi-select, <laughs> double points. See, I did this because I've been doing music rounds, but the thing is, they're not very good. And um, flags that have pink in them. What flags have pink in them? Spain, the bisexual flag. Mexico, the flag of the Balearic Island. Is it one of them? Is it two of them? Is it three of them? Is it four of them? Only guess the ones you know. And for the next two questions, I've actually got the facts afterwards. So the bisexual flag has got pink in it. So has Spain. So has Mexico. Um, the Balearic Islands does not. And I'll show you on the next slide. No problem, you're on fire. 11 in a row, well done. <laughs> that was a little song, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so here's the fact. I've, sh I've done this so you can all see. So if you see on the Spanish flag, you've got the little pink dragon on one of the crests. Mexico, you've got like these little pink things underneath the little kind of foots. Uh, the bisexual flag, you've got a pink strip here. And Balearic, you've got none. Okay, they are the flags for you. Um, obviously they don't look right because I've kind of cropped them, but yeah. Um, let's move on to the third question in this round. Question, multi-select, dog breeds. Afun Hunana, Boshihi, American Fox Dog, Akita Shepherd. Do we know one of these? Do we know two of these? Are all of these fake? Well, I mean, at least one is correct. So you have to guess at least one here, which is interesting because I haven't, I haven't put an obvious answer. Hmm, is this interesting? Will people put it? Yes, Athena Huna, Aboshi, and Akita Shepherd. This is not stupid, Helen. Names. They're stupid names. They are stupid names, but they're dog breeds. Do you want to look at them? Should we have a look at them? <sighs> Laurent de Lama. Why is this Lima winning? Okay, um, Viv, well done. You got three in a row. Okay, um, so let's look at the next question, shall we? This is, what is this? Oh, this is the dogs. So you've got your Athena Huna, which is a cross between a Chihuahua and an Athena Pincher. You've got an Akita Shepherd, which is a cross between an Akita and a German Shepherd. And then you've got a Boshi, which is a cross between, between a she and a zoo, a, she, a sheep zoo and a Boston Terrier. There we are. They're cute dogs, aren't they? Oh, crosses not breeds. Oh, there's a vet, and apparently crosses aren't breeds, so they're all cross breeds. So, um, whatever. Sorry, vets are the worst, aren't they? I'm requesting a round where Matt doesn't know the answers. Yeah, me too, Oliver. Um, I don't know how he knows them all. Anyway, this is the final, 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 final question of the round. Oh, Charlotte's fuming. UK supermarkets not in the top five of the market share up to January 2020. So what five? Oh, one, two, three. So the, not in the top five. You need to read that not. Don't select the one that is in the top five because is it one of these? Is it two of these? Is it three of these? Is it four of these? Yes. Okay. So Iceland is ninth and Lidl's is fifth. No. Seventh, seventh. Seventh with 5.9% share, and Iceland has 2.3% share. Not that you really care, but um, should we look at the final leaderboard? Laurent de Lima has a streak with 12 correct answers. Well done to Laurent de Lima. You've got fire next to your name, but we have no problema in second place. H and J in third. Quiz Witty in fourth, and Jones Fam, you finished fifth tonight, which is good. Um, okay, so let's do um, the final slide. Um, so I'm going to say this all again. 
I am doing a Sunday special, so if you want to play on Sunday, I'm going to do a similar kind of thing. Let your friends know, let your family know. Go and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can press the bell and the reminder on that as well if you want to go and do that so that you know. Um, that's always good. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave me comments down below if you enjoyed this. Um, I'm good. There's a little bit of feedback at the end that apparently I should be doing after each quiz because it fixes the results and it corrects them. So I'm going to do that in a second. But before that, if you want to get your phones out, take a picture of the leaderboard. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Ellen. Um, the leaderboard is coming up now uh, with a podium. So you can have a look at the podium. Um, so in third place, we have H&J. Well done. You've been in the podium before. We have Karma. Well done. Second place. And the winner tonight is Bloody Lima. Well done, Lima. Quizzy Witty in fourth and Jones Family in fifth. Now, I'm just going to press this Get Feedback button. I'm not sure what it does, but apparently the issue with, I'm having with results is because of this. So I'm just going to press it. And I'm not sure if you get anything on your phones or what. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can leave feedback about how good or bad it was. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, that was it, basically. If you yeah, as I said, enjoy this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all of that nonsense. And I will see you Sunday for another video. Um, but yeah, um, that's it, really. So good night. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay um, at home. And I will see you real soon. So bye.